Hi guys. Hi guys. I'm Ashley. And I show what Bloody Star Pack. Yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. Welcome to my 18 week pregnancy update video. I can't believe I'm already here almost halfway through this pregnancy. It's been my fastest one. And this you is my third, know, if I haven't mentioned yeah. before. I have Charlotte, who's three, Adelaide, who's one, and a baby on the way. So exciting. We're so happy. And Mom, I have so yeah, many. I'm going to take off the present. I'm going to take off the play Okay. Do you want to go play in your playroom now? Yeah. This is nine. Look, it's nine and it's slicky. It's Play Doh. Okay. It's Play Doh. I'm going to play with Addy and Play Doh. Addy's sleeping. Okay. So go to your playroom. Okay. If you need me, just call. I'm right here. Go, go. <laughs> So I've written everything down just so I don't uh, lose track of what's going on because I'm very forgetful. And another, th and another thing is I am very, I have uh, breathlessness, like I cannot breathe. And this happened to me as well while pregnant with Charlotte. And I thought it was normal because it happened at seven weeks, seven months, I'm sorry, seven months of pregnancy. So, you know, I was much bigger. So I was caught off guard having this symptom now, and it's just, is it gonna go away? I hope so, probably not, but it's a struggle. Uh, half the time I'm just like, you know, can't get up too fast or do anything too fast, I'm out of breath. And just sometimes talking too much gets me out of breath. So I have my water and my juice. Another funny thing I do while pregnant is I drink two drinks at a time always sometimes three just depends I don't know is that weird I don't know I just do that I notice and I also if I'm drinking water I tend to hold it in my mouth for like a second or two I don't know that's so strange but anyway um let's get started with what's been happening and what's going on um like I said this pregnancy feels like it's been flying by and I think let's start with the, the bump shot because that's always fun to see. I feel so much bigger with this pregnancy. I mean, I did not show with my other two daughters until five months, six, no, actually I popped like at seven months. So this just kind of feels like a lot of fat, <laughs> but it's a baby in there. there. There's a little baby in there that's always moving. Um, this baby moves a lot um my girls didn't move as much as this one so it's been nice to feel um and also i last week now almost two weeks ago we did the um, blood screening so the baby is very healthy and everything came back good so very blessed and thankful for that and um in another two weeks, we will have our anatomy scan, which I'm excited for. I do remember going to my anatomy scan with Adelaide and Charlotte being there, and it was super sweet because we, you know, we were all there. But this time, you know, it's just my husband and I. Uh, no one else is allowed in the room, so it'll be different. But it's still, I mean, I'm thankful I get to have him there. I know some people um, with the coronavirus and everything didn't get to have um, their spouse with them in any appointments, I think. So very lucky and blessed about that. And we will not be finding out the gender of the baby on that appointment. We have another special plan for that. We I might as well tell you now. Um, we plan on taking a trip um, and meeting my best friend uh, in Puerto Rico. And for my husband's birthday and I plan to do the reveal then the week of his birthday maybe the day even but um that's exciting and that's in May so it's March now so we have April May and we've always done this where we um get the gender in March with both girls as well and then we wait till sometimes I think for Adelaide we waited until June so we had that I had that um uh, envelope in my closet up there hiding which was tempting but you know 
it was fine. We, we wanted to share um, the reveal with everyone and, you know, just we wait a long time. That's all I'm saying. Um, let's see what else because how I've been feeling, I feel much better besides the um, breathing situation. And uh, the cravings, I tend to want to eat really late this time around. With my other two, I mean, we went to bed at 9 p.m. and didn't wake up, you know, besides going to the bathroom a million times a night and sometimes not sleeping. I had bad insomnia back then and I'm starting to now again. Uh, but yeah, I want to eat, which is a problem. I do not want to, you know, gain a lot of weight because I just feel like, if I do, then maybe the pregnancy would be harder. I don't know. I just, that's just my thought on that. Um, so I don't want to be eating late, but I do get cravings at night. So it's been a little bit hard. The other day I caught myself having ice cream and the brownie cookie that I picked up for, from my grocery haul. And it's just like, no, 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 I can't do this. I'm not, not this late at night, but whatever. It is what it is we have baby shower plans as well uh so we'll see that's gonna be in june we've just been trying to plan out month by month now that we realize if it's, it's 20 weeks so far have passed so fast you know the 18 the next will probably go even faster so i just want to fix up our home and just get everything ready before the baby comes because it's just going to slap me in the face like, oh, the baby's here and we have a million things to do. So we don't want that. So I've been really planning everything with my husband on what we want to get done. That's like a must have. Um, so we've got some pretty big projects and stuff like that. But besides that, we're all happy and healthy and cannot wait. We also, something fun and, um, sorry, my nose is getting kind of runny. Uh, we know the name of the baby. If, if it's a boy, if it's a girl, we, uh, we know, we have our name, which is exciting. I mean, I feel like I've always been, uh, I've always had my children's names. I feel like since, well, before they were born, even years before, I've always wanted Charlotte and Rose as my mother's name. And with Adelaide, that one came to me a little later, but it all made sense. And I, I knew that I wanted that name if it was a girl before I was uh, pregnant. So, and the same thing with this baby. We have a boy name and a girl name, middle names and everything. So, uh, but I still think it would be fun to do a baby name video because I have so many other names that I do love. Uh, so maybe that would be fun to do and maybe even with my husband I'll have to see um, but yeah we have so many I have so many names my husband I'm so I'm lucky he just doesn't even he's like whatever you pick is totally fine with me so that's great you know I get to pick the names and he just loves them so uh, that's fun and uh, I mean he's had his opinions before but he always ends up just happy and loving whatever I really want um so i've never had an issue there but i'm excited to know i'm like am i gonna be able to wait so much this time around but i, I will i will i can uh so with the uh cravings comes the gaining the weight and the clothes not fitting so i picked up this shirt the other day because charlotte has her rock and roll she calls the this the rock and roll shirt. I don't know, you know, she's the cutest. And I picked it up in a small thinking, cause you know, Target, like, I feel like they run big and it fits pretty good. So, and I got these uh, pants from Motherhood Maternity, which I liked at first, but they're, they're a size small and they like are really stretchy and they will kind of sag down so i don't know i'm not really into buying um, maternity clothes but you know this time around i felt like i had to to be comfortable so i also picked up 
some other things and I have picked up a few dresses maybe I'll do a um a haul on those things but I also picked up bras because that's one of the things that's changed the most is my chest has grown much bigger and much faster this time around before breastfeeding my two daughters I had a you know a big chest and not after breast like once I finished breastfeeding them that changed they were just small and fine I was happy with them being that size but now they're big and I'm like if they're this big now how they're gonna be when I give birth so I bought some nursing bras that I really like the colors and uh, I'm gonna buy some more because I do love nursing it is a struggle at first you know those first few days but I do enjoy that connection with them and just I just like nursing <laughs> my babies so um yeah that's that's the only thing I feel like um, we made a registry, which, you know, I pr pretty much don't need, I don't need a lot of stuff, but I just put in there some like cute new baby outfits and just little things, you know. Um, I actually did put in a high chair because I needed a new one, but you know, just not, I don't need as much as before, so. Um, that's exciting and um, yeah this pregnancy has been just good now <laughs> but, you know before in the beginning it, it was hard but now it's finally getting better and well the symptoms are changing now I get the breathlessness and I feel sometimes uh, leg cramps uh, but that's it so we're really happy sorry I I keep getting out of breath and like choking. But everything is good and um, we're just excited. So um, I'll probably record my, well, going to my anatomy scan because I won't be able to film in there, but I'll be going with my husband. So it'll be fun. So I'll get that, uh, um, those clips. For you guys it'll be exciting <laughs>